empower me. Wow. Wisdom over wounds. December 25th. His birth and our new birth. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated God with us. Matthew chapter 1 verse 23. His birth in history. That Holy One who is born will be called the Son of God. Luke chapter 1 verse 35. Jesus Christ was born into this world, not from it. He did not emerge out of history. He came into history from the outside. Jesus Christ is not the best human being the human race can, race can boast of. He is a being for whom the human race can take no credit at all. He is not man becoming God, but incarnate. God coming into human flesh from outside it. His life is the highest and the holiest entering through the most humble of doors. Our Lord's birth was an advent. The appearance of God in human form. His birth in me. My little children, for whom I labor in birth again until Christ is formed in you. Galatians 4 verse 19. Just as our Lord came into human history from outside it, he must also come into me from outside. Have I allowed my personal human life to become a Bethlehem for the Son of God? I cannot enter the realm of the kingdom of God unless I am born again from above by a birth totally unlike physical birth. You must be born again. John chapter 3 verse 7. This is not a command but a fact based on the authority of God. The evidence of the new birth is that I yield myself so completely to God that Christ is formed in me. I'm going to say that again. That I yield myself completely to God that Christ is formed in me. And once Christ is formed in me, his nature immediately begins to work through me. So once it is formed in me, he can work through me. How many of you get that? Once Christ is formed in you, he can work through you. God evident in the flesh. This is what is made so profoundly possible for you and for me through the redemption of man by Jesus Christ. The evidence is in the flesh. God is formed in you and therefore he can work through you. Wow, what a simple word. His birth and our new birth. So many of us are saying, Lord, use me. Lord, work through me. Lord, flow through me. Let my life be an example 
of your love. But have you allowed God to do what he needs to form himself in you? Ooh, I feel the anointing on this word. Oh, I feel the anointing on this word so heavily. This simple word, let God form himself in you. Not you struggling to keep your will and to keep things the way you want them, to keep your mind focused on what you want to focus on, but learning to relax and let God take the will, take the stirring will of your life. I know you know about making cookies, and some of them, the dough has to be formed into a specific shape in order to get it to look the way you want it to look. God needs you to look spiritually like he wants you to look. He has a form, a character that he wants you to present to people. When they come to dine at his table, you are part of the recipe for his table. Lord, empower me. Lord, give me wisdom over all of my wounds. Take everything that's not like you out of me. Take everything, Lord. I surrender. Take everything that's not like you out of me. When God set his plan in motion to vanquish, which is to destroy Satan and his evil empire, he sent another baby, his only son to be born of a virgin in Bethlehem manger. That's what he formed. He formed a baby. Jesus did not come to earth to establish the commercial chaos that we call Christmas. He didn't come here for all of this selling and buying and stuff that's going on right now. He came to fulfill the promise that God made in Genesis 3 verse 15. Jesus, the seed of the woman, Mary, would crush the head of the serpent. I'm going to say it again. The seed of the woman would crush the head of the serpent Satan once and for all. His arrival marked the beginning of the battle for our soul. We are in a battle for our soul. He came to redeem and set us free. God came near. He wrapped himself in flesh and came as a baby to live among us. He is not a far off God, unaffected by our plight and untouched by our dilemma. He is. Emmanuel, he is Emmanuel, God with us. Father, thank you for your blessing. Lord, bless and keep us. Lord, make your face shine upon us and be gracious unto us. Lord, give us peace. We give thanks for your unspeakable unspeakable gift of salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. For today's date, you gave us a present that we celebrate today that this world can never take away. His birth and our new birth found Matthew chapter 1 verse 23. His name, he shall be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. How many of you know today that God is with you? God is with you. 
celebrating on December 25th when we know this is not his actual birthday, but this is the day that has been picked to where we celebrate all that Jesus Christ has done for us, that we might be formed in the image of our Father. Lord, to my family, my friends, my loved ones, my acquaintances on this line, all of those who are on this line with me today, we give thanks today. We give honor today. We give reverence today to the Most High God who sent a baby. But I want you to know, as I say so often, Jesus Christ is no longer just a little baby that we celebrate in the manger. The Word of God said He now, after finishing His work, has been translated back into the heavenly. And he is translated back into the kingdom of God, seated on the right hand of God, making intercessions for you and for me and for his children. No longer in Adam of the world, but now formed to be in Christ Jesus, living in God. Through Christ Jesus, we thank you for the sacrifice today. Father, we thank you for your word. Father, we thank you for your truth. We thank you for freedom to operate in your spirit. Father, we thank you for the evidence in our flesh that we have submitted ourselves to you, that we have called for the flesh to die, for it to go under submission to you the Almighty One. We give glory today. We give thanksgiving today. All you on this line need celebrate. Take a day and stop asking for things for yourself. But celebrate what He's already done. Even if you're dealing with sickness and disease. Thank you, Father, that I've made it this far. Thank you, Father, that I have what I have today. Thank you, Father, for life. Thank you for just being in your right mind. We give you praise today for your birth, for your death, for you making a way for us to come into the new birth. For those of you on this channel today, as I always say, I didn't come in to make anybody happy or excited, but to give you what God gave me today. The title today is His Birth and Our New Birth, found Matthew chapter 20, chapter 1, verse 23. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall call his name. Emmanuel, translated God with us. If you just remember that one thing today, God is with us. God is for us. And God is in us. Let the anointing on this line penetrate into your heart. If it is blessing you in any manner. These podcasts can be found on most podcast channels under the title of Empower Me Wow Wisdom Over Wounds. Playing simultaneously on podcast channels is another one of my podcasts called The Drill Sergeant Series. Making jewels. It will truly bless you. They are nuggets of gold for fiery trial. Dealing with end time situations. Let God bless you. So Father, I thank you today for my friends, my family, my loved ones. Lord, let them have a blessed holiday season. Keep them from trouble. Keep them from the hand of the enemy. Surround them, Lord, right now with your presence, with your peace, with your grace. Let your light 
shine upon them as never before. If you enjoy these messages and you're on a subscription channel, please click subscribe, like, and share. And that will truly bless me. Remember me in your prayers as I remember you. I am Sister Barbara and know this one thing. I love you. Bye-bye.